Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin, and it's an absolute pleasure to have you back. Thank you very much for joining me. No matter what source, what place, what way you may have found me, you're here to play and watch with me today. What we're actually going to be doing is playing a little bit of foul play. It is an older game that's actually been out on the PlayStation and PS, well, it's on PS and on the Xbox, on many other systems for a long ass time. And I highly recommend checking it out, but uh, you don't know what it is yet, do you? That's the most important thing. Do you know what foul play is about? Well, it's about gentlemen and fisticuffs on the stage by Devolver Digital. <laughs> so yeah, Devolver Digital, Media Tonic. Uh, Devolver Digital publishing this game more than they actually made this game. Uh, literally, it is actually a scrolling beat -em up old school style, streets of rage, fun and games that actually is... No, there is no safe game in the cloud. Do I have... I don't even remember. I, 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 did I play this in the cloud? I'm, I'm perturbed and perturbed. Right, uh, game saves data automatically at certain points, of course it does. So, ooh, what that's I just realized, oh, I've still got music playing in the background from before I actually went into the stream. There we go, now we're actually inside the gameplay. <laughs> Bring the audio levels down a wee tiny touch for that so it actually doesn't overpower my voice. Right, so, uh, the demon, demon diary options. So, I'm just going to bring down sound effects and music a wee tiny touch just to make sure. Yeah, save the game to the cloud. We are going to get on the stage and perform in our foul play, our foul, disgusting play of violence. Uh, yep, so player one, player two, Dashforth and his stunning little um, newspaper sidekick. It's so, it's, it's just so uplifting, isn't it? It just raises you up as it plays. So let's jump in here. Uh, oh, yeah, act one, we're going to jump into act one, start off from the top. So, literally, we are the dapper, bald gentleman with a moustache, a monocle, and a hat, and I swear to God, I should have that costume somewhere sitting in this house. I know I do. I know I have that costume. Ah. Good evening. I am the renowned demonologist Baron Dashforth. I hunt the dark and monstrous things in this world. Mm-hmm. Mm. I have spent my life high... Binding and banishing the unspeakable, and tonight I have promised to recount these adventures to you. Hmm. hmm. I fully intend to. You will know, however, I. You will know everything. I promise. Hmm. Hmm. You may not thank me for it. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Scampwick. Mm hmm. It was Cairo, 1895. The British Empire had lost contact entirely with a dig site. I immediately suspected foul play. <laughs> Come, Mr. Dashforth, it is just over the next rise! <sighs> Love this! Love the gameplay style! And delivered as promised. I shall expect a generous cut. I'll give you a dashing cut. You intend to rob us, gentlemen? Goodness to me, Mr. Dashful. We intend to kill you first. And then loot your corpses. How's this Whitechapel terrorist trap, sir? You should have clocked earlier. I suppose we can't blame the chap for trying, Mr. Scampwick. Let us make this quick dash forth. Oh, I intend to. Oh, 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 oh. That's more like it's air combos. There we go, moving forward. Love that. I love the fact that actually whenever you move on to the end of the cipher. Uh, follow the uh, guide's tracks, Mr. Scampwick. So we're our only chance for escaping this blasted sandpit. The Moodometer measures up how much the audience are enjoying the show. Link your attacks and avoid getting hit to build excitement. If the meter drops to zero, the curtains will fall on tonight's performance. Yeah. 
Combo boost is the best way of boosting the audience mood. Finish a wave while losing your a combo to perfect, perform a perfect scene. He goes! Block incoming attacks with circle parry. Grabbed enemies who are vulnerable to your attack. <laughs> I like this. See, essentially, as long as you see an enemy coming, you can actually counter it. Uh oh, stage hand on the right. <laughs> Just backpedaling off the stage. Perfect scene! Amateur dramatics have been completed! Your new fame lever has unlocked a parry throw maneuver. So, I can circle, circle again then? Right, sweet. Happy days! That was awesome! Cool! I'm already getting into the combo with this because literally you can bounce anybody off anybody else as long as they make contact. I like the crowd because the crowd gets you really pumped up with it as well. Go! Ah. Ah. Hmm. Scatwick, are there any other white, white chapel customs we could share with our good friend? Depends whether depends whether we can rustle up a stack or a set of billiard balls, sir. Invaders! Infidels! Ah. Alarm! You remember what I taught you about larger foes, Mr. Scampwick? <laughs> Aim for the crops, sir. Hey, Excellent, carry on! Nicely done! Down he goes.
A thorough whacking! Down he goes. The adventure continues. You go, big guy. Stay down. That was almost a, that was almost a perfect scene with the bigger guys in it, but eh, it didn't make it. I love the fact they mark for first because that's a very film or broadcast kind of thing to do to actually mark for first the first positions whenever you're going into a scene, which is pretty cool. I, it's, a, it's a nice touch because I see the one and I'm going like, ah, that's not just player one, that's first. Suffer a thousand cuts. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Dashboard's going to mess you right up, mate. Ain't that right, Mr. Dashforth? Mr. Scamwick, that child seems to be in the midst of a terrible fit. Reckon he's been a big fan of yours, sir. Save him until at last, Mr. Dashforth! Then have Mr. Scamwick kick him in the unmentionables! Hmm. Above all things, I must win. We must win the audience. Follow his advice. That was actually the job complete. Complete all the challenges and act to win the special award. Back to firsts. So apparently we're deeper in Egypt now, are we? Ah! Ah! Who are they being carried away by? Demon broken. Sir? Oh, people have actually gone crazy. <laughs> Defend yourself, Mr. Scampwick, where you've got no quarter here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right. Oh, unleash your showstopper. Okay, so we managed to take it down to the top of the end of the act. We've got this. So R1 to hit your showstopper when the meter is full. Receive huge approval of every hit for a short time. Two combo received, four combo required for both players are in showstopper at the same time. Right. Boom! He was off his rocker, mate. <laughs> there are demon broken, Mrs. Scampwick, undoubtedly. Um, it seems we've come to the right place. But be careful, cautious. Follow me. That was the first act. Hey! Oh, there's an encore. Alright, so the encore just keeps on going until you actually take out a number of guys. Should have just been using special moves the entire time. Oh well. But yeah, that was actually the first act of Foil Play. What did you guys think? <laughs> uh, new moves unlocked, of course. You actually kind of build your way through. Remember the favorite scene? Take out the bandit la leader last. Achieve a 50 hit combo battling the uh, foreman. Boom! That was it. That was actually all done and dusted in a single turn. I actually got perfect mark on that. Oh man, that was... Yeah, this game is fun. It's it's so unbelievably fun that it actually kind of like it just dragged my ass into its actual environment. Uh, File play is a scrolling beat 'em up with a really fun kind of combat mechanic and combo mechanic that actually will draw you back to your play levels and actually uh, complete the challenges that are involved. Plus, you unlock more moves and skills. Obviously, in the first level, it's always going to be a lot easier. But yeah, that yeah, this game can get reasonably difficult, especially if you're playing with multiple players. So, a new move unlocked: parry, then throw. How to do away with ne'er do wells. <laughs> hit circle, then hit circle again to throw him the fuck away! Disable the uh, big enemy. Yes, yeah, so that's what you use that to knock them down. And then showstopper with your R1 whenever it's a full meter. Yep. Obviously, it was showing me a bunch of stuff by completing the challenges in an act. You've unlocked a charm! So, what is the charm doing? You can have up to two charms. So, Lucky Rabbit's Foot increases your chances of doing something. Yeah. So every successful parry, plus three combo. Nice! Okay, so I could I parry the shit out of things. So yeah, that was the first act of Foul Play. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, it's a really fun game. It's pretty cheap on the Steam sales. It was available during the last PSN seal uh, because it was the local games on PS Plus. Or no, not PS Plus, on PSN. So it's a digital game on PSN. I was trying to find the right words there for it. But if you enjoyed watching me play through Foul Play, you would like to see further acts of this game. You would like to see it go further. In fact, if would you like to see some couch co-op of it, which uh, Scampwick and the Doctor all playing together. But um, obviously, I was a bit off there. I kept on throwing different voices onto the characters. I don't know. I don't think I found the voice for them yet. For the two of you and me and guys, tell me which ones you actually preferred best in the comments below because I've I, I think I went through like three for each character from like Sage the old man and uh, Scampwick being like a, a bit of a young kid voice to actually having him give him like a more of a Cockney slabber and the old man being a bit more uh, erudite and sounding a bit more Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Sherlock uh, Sherlock Holmes while I don't know why what I was doing with it but I'm sure um, there's something in there that you guys actually enjoyed. But if you enjoyed watching me play that and actually want to see more of it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join us here on the channel to actually watch more stuff more regularly. And of course, if you don't want to do the subscribe thing, completely understand, not everybody does, then just memorize the name, Pastiche of Skin. That's all you got to do. Once you remember the name, you can search for me and it's easy to find me. I'm not hard to find. I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. You can always find me when you need me. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, boom, there'll be a button up here. That'll actually allow you to subscribe to stuff. There'll be a button here. There'll actually be a playlist. There'll be a button over there. That'll actually be the most recent video on the channel. And the big one right there will be a video for you based on the things that I actually do on the channel. That has actually gone through YouTube analytics. All the things that you might have actually wanted to watch previously on other channels. This will be on related to what you've already seen made by me. So you should check that one out as soon as possible. So guys, until the next episode, or I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.